Hey there, welcome to this insightful journey inside an INFJ's mind. Today, we're going to dive deep into a common struggle that plagues INFJs, the feeling of being misunderstood. So grab your virtual snorkel and let's explore this together. You see, INFJs are a unique bunch and they often find themselves at odds with the world around them. This video is all about shedding light on why that happens. Now let's embark on this exploration together, and you'll understand why INFJs often feel like they're singing a different tune in a world that's dancing to a different beat. Stick around, and you'll see why INFJs aren't really as mysterious as they seem. They just have a unique way of looking at things. Here are 10 reasons why INFJ always feel misunderstood. Reason 1. INFJs are rare. Let's start by addressing the rarity of INFJs. They're like the elusive unicorns of the personality types. They make up about 1.5% to 2.3% of the population. In simple terms, they're not your everyday personality. Now think about this. With so few INFJs out there, it's like searching for a needle in a haystack to find like-minded souls. They often feel like an odd puzzle piece in a world of squares and circles. It's not that they enjoy being mysterious, it's just that their uniqueness can make them feel out of place. This rarity often leaves them pondering. Am I the only one who thinks this way? So feeling unusual in a world that seems to be moving in entirely different directions is a common theme for INFJs. But remember, it's their distinctiveness that makes them special. Reason 2. INFJs. See the world differently. Now let's dive into the second reason why INFJs often feel misunderstood. You see, INFJs view the world through a fascinating lens called introverted intuition, or NI for short. This is where things get intriguing. Introverted intuition focuses on the hidden, intangible aspects of our world. INFJs are drawn to concepts, theories, and those deep, hidden meanings. They find joy in exploring the uncharted territory of ideas, predictions, visions, and inspirations. Sounds pretty cool, right? But here's the twist. In many Western cultures, these more spiritual and mystical qualities are often seen as odd or woo-woo. When INFJs try to explain their deep thoughts, they might get some bewildered looks, like they're speaking a foreign language. It's like they're tuning into the radio station of profound meanings while everyone else is on a different channel. So, while in certain cultures, these qualities are highly valued, INFJs in much of the Western world might feel a bit like misfits, their unique way of seeing the world making them seem like they're from another dimension. But hey, it's these very qualities that contribute to their incredible depth and understanding of the world. Reason 3. INFJ communication isn't linear. Why INFJs often feel like they're on a different wavelength. You see, most people communicate in a pretty straightforward, linear way. We call these people sensors. They're the majority, making up roughly 73% of the population. But INFJs, well, they're the exceptions. They, along with some other rare types, are part of the 7.9% who understand the world differently through introverted intuition. Now this is where it gets interesting. When INFJs try to explain their thoughts, it's like they're holding on to a handful of multicolored balloons. Their ideas are vivid, filled with images and symbols rather than just words. These ideas are like complex puzzles, and putting them into words can be a bit like trying to hold on to those balloons in a hurricane. It's not easy. Don't get me wrong. It's not that INFJs can't communicate effectively. They can, and many become excellent communicators with practice. But it takes time and self-acceptance for them to express their ideas as clearly as they envision them. So, it's like being an artist trying to describe a masterpiece when everyone else is using stick figures. INFJs think in metaphors, symbols, and images, and that can be more complex to express than a straightforward story. But it's this unique perspective that gives INFJs their creative and imaginative edge, even if the world doesn't always seem to understand it at first glance. 
Reason four, INFJs are social chameleons. INFJs have an incredible ability to sense the feelings and needs of people around them. They're like emotional sponges, soaking up all the vibes in a room. Not only do they pick up on these emotional currents, but they also pay close attention to cultural expectations and social norms. It's not about being stuffy or pretentious. It's about being tactful, polite, and conscientious. They want to create harmonious environments, and they'll go out of their way to make sure people are feeling okay. But here's the catch. In doing so, they often lose themselves. They spend so much time trying to meet others' emotional needs that their own desires and true selves can get buried in the process. It's like they're always adapting to the emotional weather around them, but the cost can be feeling like they're not being true to themselves. So beneath that chameleon-like exterior, many INFJs long to be seen and understood for who they really are. They want to be appreciated for their unique qualities rather than just blending into the background, ensuring everyone else is comfortable. It's like they're waiting for someone to say, I see you, and truly understand the depths of their thoughts and feelings. Reason 5. INFJs are introverts who love people. INFJs need their alone time, those peaceful moments where they can dive deep into their thoughts, reflect, and imagine. But at the same time, they deeply care about others and crave meaningful connections. They want to understand and be understood to form those bonds that transcend the superficial. Now, here's where it gets tricky. They often find themselves caught in the middle of this introverted, extroverted tug of war. When they pull away to recharge, some might see them as inconsistent or even cold. People might not get that they need these moments of solitude to recharge their emotional batteries. So, being introverts who love people creates this fascinating and sometimes challenging paradox for INFJs. They want to connect deeply, yet they also need their quiet time to stay balanced. It's all about finding that delicate equilibrium. Reason 6. INFJs often wind up in one-sided relationships. Here's another reason why INFJs often find themselves feeling misunderstood. It's because they tend to end up in one-sided relationships. You see, people often turn to INFJs for emotional support. They know that INFJs are empathetic and understanding, making them a safe haven for unloading their feelings and emotional baggage. While this can be a positive thing, it can also be emotionally draining for INFJs. They might find themselves lending an open ear and a comforting shoulder, but when they need the same in return, it's not always reciprocated. Many INFJs have shared their struggles of realizing that some of the relationships they thought were mutual turned out to be rather one-sided. So, this puts them in a difficult spot. They're these incredible listeners and supporters, but sometimes they wish someone would do the same for them. It's a classic case of feeling like they're giving their all, but not always receiving it in return. Reason 7. INFJs Feel rushed in a fast-paced world. INFJs are contemplative and deliberate thinkers. They like to take their time to think, to process, and to make thoughtful decisions. However, this isn't always appreciated in a world that seems to demand speed and efficiency. The society we live in often urges us to hurry up, speak faster, get to the point, and juggle multiple tasks simultaneously. For an INFJ, this can be stifling. They'd much rather take a slower, more deliberate approach, which might not align with the rapid pace of the world around them. This contrast between their natural rhythm and the fast-paced expectations of society can lead to feelings of being misunderstood, out of place, or even left behind. Reason 8. INFJs are prone to overstimulation and media burnout. In our modern world, we're bombarded with technological interactions. Social media, text messages, Zoom meetings, and phone calls are all part of our daily lives. However, for many people, especially INFJs, this constant digital noise can be overwhelming. INFJs require moments of quiet, introspection, and solitude to recharge. 
They need to step away from the external world to delve into the world of ideas, reflections, and imagination. This internal processing is crucial for their well-being. Unfortunately, the world isn't always wired to accommodate their preferences. Friends may become impatient if they don't respond to a text quickly enough. Bosses may demand participation in multiple Zoom meetings, and the pressure to constantly multitask can be suffocating. INFJs yearn for a simpler, quieter life, where they can focus deeply on one thing at a time. But they often feel out of sync with a society that values constant connectivity and multitasking. This incongruity can further contribute to the feeling of being misunderstood by those around them. Reason 9. INFJs are often underestimated. These individuals possess a unique combination of qualities. They are gentle, insightful, and deeply compassionate. They genuinely want to make the world a better place for everyone. However, because INFJs tend to be more reserved and less outspoken than some other personality types, they can be dismissed or overlooked. This is particularly true for INFJ women, who are sometimes labeled as nice or timid even when that isn't the case. In many societies, there's a preference for more dominant, bold, and stereotypically male communication styles, which can lead to INFJs being underestimated. In the workplace, INFJs may find themselves underemployed or passed over for promotions in favor of more extroverted, direct counterparts. INFJ men also encounter challenges in a world that often values dominating, straightforward, and outspoken behavior. These misconceptions and underestimations can lead to INFJs feeling undervalued and misunderstood by a society that doesn't always appreciate their unique strengths and contributions. Reason 10. INFJs care deeply in a shallow world. INFJs are big-picture visionaries who are driven by a profound desire to make the world a better place. They hold themselves to high standards and feel an incessant need to fulfill their potential. They long for a world where people genuinely care about making a positive difference. However, the reality often falls short. Much of the world is consumed by trivial distractions, from celebrity gossip to reality TV dramas, from beating the next level in a mobile game to political rivalries. These distractions can feel incredibly superficial to INFJs, who wish for a world with more caring individuals who truly value the betterment of society. It's the stark contrast between the INFJ's profound sense of purpose and the distractions that dominate much of society that can lead them to feel deeply misunderstood and disconnected from the world around them. If you're an INFJ who often feels misunderstood, it's essential to remember that you're not alone in this struggle. While the journey can be challenging, there is hope. Understanding your unique personality type and the reasons behind your feelings of being misunderstood is a crucial first step. By prioritizing your well-being and embracing your unique traits, you can not only find peace within yourself, but also foster more meaningful connections with others who appreciate the depth and sincerity you bring to the world. Remember, your INFJ journey is a profound and beautiful one, and there are those who genuinely value and understand the incredible person you are. Like, subscribe, and share our content.